<laughs> I would never do a film. Right, okay. We've got a weights room, we've got your table tennis, your pool. Um, we've got your, ta your table tennis, sorry, let's start <laughs> Sorry. What? We've got an indoor five-a-side court. We've also got an AstroTurf outside, which is in dire need of repair at the present moment. At present, we are building a music studio. The young people have just finished building their track, which you will see and hear in this short video. Okay, this is Trevor Gabriel, Marcus Lipton Youth Club. Bigging it up. How <laughs> <laughs> can get that? This is a short film from the Underground Youth Centre. We have chosen the topic of respect. As young people, we go through life and it's a natural fact that everything has an impact on you, including the respect we show to each other. We live in a diverse country with so many different races, cultures, sexualities, religions and general beliefs. And our youth club is a reflection of this diversity. And we need to respect and value each other in order to coexist. Respect is about... Um living in a community and knowing that there's a difference in the 
in like in your community and yet being able to accept people individuals for who they are to start with respecting other people you should respect yourself because like if you respect yourself you're just like understanding how to respect other people the way they would respect you when someone does something bad to you knowing that it would hurt your feelings they're disrespecting you so you wouldn't discriminate them because for example, like they have different sexuality, different race, um, religion. My name is Anobi Talati, I'm the Deputy Youth Worker at the Underground Youth Centre in Islington. As a youth worker, it's quite hard to measure the impact of the work you do, but as I've been working here for quite a long time, I've seen the differences and noticed differences in young people's behaviour and what they've gone on to achieve. Um, just the notice of the difference in the sessions, the way that people are getting more empowered to come up with ideas, that behaviour has just improved compared to when we first started, that people are going on to achieve lots of different things and you can notice now people are going to university for example and uh, people have been working on different projects where they've achieved a lot, they've gone all over the local newspapers, there's just lots of different ways that we can measure it. Well here they allow you to be free and, and like everyone just respects you respects you for who you are and I think like that's proven by the amount of people who come here and like young people tell it can be respected by like just complimenting each other being polite and appreciating different people's talents they've told us to respect and um, different religions cultures and different views and uh, people's opinions as well and Basically, take part in everything. If someone has a quote or an answer or anything, don't disagree with it. Always respecting the best man you can. One of the ways I think the youth centres had an impact um, on encouraging young people to respect each other is through one of our curriculum themes, which was tackling racism. We did this because we noticed so many young people were using racist language as a joke. They didn't always mean it, and it was coming all the time in the youth centre. People thought it was OK. And we've done a lot of programmes in terms of workshops, posters, discussions, challenging behaviour. And actually because of that, the racist language has almost stopped, which has been really positive. Not swearing inside the youth centre, respecting other people you don't know. I've done a lot of projects about it as well. And what exactly did it teach you? The projects? Stuff about sexism. Racism. Um, yeah. Like respecting other people, other cultures, stuff like that. In order for the youth centre to grow and have a better impact on young people, probably we'd need more resources in terms of staffing, um, so we can do more publicity, we can be open more because at the moment we're not open every day and that would be a great change if we had um, more resources in terms of staff and money to open more, offer more activities. There are lots of different things young people want to do that we have to fundraise for, so if we get the funding for things that's always great, but it's always a struggle to get that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.